Hello everybody, Holly Randall here once again doing just some beautiful art nude content for um, my website and my upcoming art book, which I swear I'm working on. Um, today I am shooting the beautiful Leah Gotti. I'm very excited. I got to shoot her only once before um, in a girl girl for twisties. So today I get her all to myself and um, we have some really cool concepts planned thanks to my amazing art director, Amber. But what I'm very excited about today is as I continue to follow the path back down into analog, um, I don't know why I've just felt this like recent obsession with everything film. So if you watched my last BTS, you know that I was shooting on my 8x10 camera, which I am doing again today, shooting more film on my 8x10 camera. I, I think I figured out some of the er errors that I was making with the film holder not being in correctly. So I think today I'm going to actually nail it and get it done correctly. But I also have a couple of other things to play with today, which I'm very excited about. So first off is this beautiful Hasselblad camera with a Zeiss 80 millimeter lens. When I was in photography school at Brooks. Um, back in the day when you actually shot on film cameras, this was my dream camera, was to own a Hasselblad medium format camera. Shooting on film has just been such like a love for me. Um, the dynamic range and the tones is something that I don't really get out of digital. I mean, I, I'm sure I could manipulate it back in with Photoshop, but there's something really nice about shooting authentically on film and kind of getting what you're getting. And also, I really love the fact that I don't get to see how it looks right away and I have to send it in for developing and I have to wait. And when I get it back, it feels like I'm a kid at Christmas and I'm like opening my presents. And there's something in today's modern society where everything is instant gratification and you can go online and you can find information on anything you want. Or you can order Postmates and have something delivered to your house right away. There's something really nice about that delayed gratification that film brings you. So. It's been like a very special journey for me. So I will start off by shooting some uh, T-Max 400 um, with Leah. And then I have some Portra 400 that I'll probably try out. So I'll get a little bit of color and a little bit of black and white. I want to do like a little ASMR with the, with the shutter, but I'm going to, I'm going to kill a shot by doing it, but just, that sounds so nice. Isn't that so nice? You never hear those, those, those beautiful sounds anymore. We're gonna start off in the meadow and then we're gonna do some shots upstairs in the studio. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through here, I'm gonna get my focus one more time and then I need to just keep the posts um, because I have to come out, I have to put the dark slide in, I have to close the shutter, I have to pull the slide and then I can no longer look through this while I'm actually taking the photo. Okay. So. So we just finished look number one, which um, was a lot of different things. Yeah, it was really fun. We squeezed, well, oh, she didn't. I squeezed, I squeezed grapes all over myself. Yes, <laughs> and they were actually surprisingly juicy. It was my first time actually shooting on film. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. And we shot on three different kinds of film. We shot on two and a quarter uh, medium format film. We shot on eight by 10 film. It was really epic actually. So like, I really like just, it's like, it's like you've never shot film before and I threw you into a film gangbang. You know, it's great because if anyone was going to do it to me, I want it to be you. 
Yay! Okay, so now we have a studio shoe, which is gonna look very, very different. We're gonna do a very different look with her. I'm so excited. I, I know, because be you said that you never really get to shoot like that. Yeah, right? I'm always like dainty, ooh. Yeah. You know, but I get to be hard. I'm gonna look like a bad bitch. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's get you in there. So I changed the light. At first I had like a really, really soft light, but this look is kind of dramatic and strong. And so I thought I'd sharpen up the front light a little bit just to give it like that extra pop and like a sharp edge shadow. So I used a much smaller modifier on there. As you can see, it's actually just a bell with like a diffusion soft pulled over it rather than like the huge soft box that I had before. But I'm keeping the background really soft and a little bit of side light really soft by just shooting like a couple of lights through this huge silk right here. So um, I won't get like, it'll brighten up the background so I don't have like a super strong shadow from her. I'm still getting like a little bit. Thank you. Uh, so that was a gray card. And what I use that for is to color balance my images because the color uh, that you have will change depending on the environment that you're in. If you're outside surrounded by a lot of green grass, like we were earlier, you get a lot of green cast on your pictures. If you're here in a white studio, um, you'll have a lot of white, maybe you'll go a little cold, a little bit blue. And so um, by doing that with an 18% gray card, um, it'll give me like that perfect middle color balance and then it'll make it easier to, <laughs> to change it to whatever I want to do. Um, after that. So I find that that really helps. One thing that I notice a lot of photographers do is that they have, um, they're not good with the color in their pictures. Uh, they, they don't color correct them. And to me, like that makes all the difference. So I'm pretty anal about color. Amber actually does all of my color correct me. She's very, very, very good at it. I was like, I was gonna say, mm, it smells like death. They actually smell really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so we were doing the second look. And as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to do something like kind of strong and powerful for her, especially because I know you say that people shoot you in like really sweet small girl, girl next door. Next door yeah. Do you get kind of sick of that look? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm 26. Yeah. So I know I have a baby face, but sometimes I want to feel sexy. You want to like be shot like a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So we decided to give her that kind of look. This bodysuit that Amber like pulled out of, I don't know from where is fucking amazing. I love it. I think it's so good. On you. So yeah, but so we're just doing like very simple, clean background. The shot's all about her. It's about like the, you know, just the, it's very monochromatic, just black and white. And it's all about Leah. No like distractions. It's not like just her, just her in these terrible, Smelling. Oh my god, this smells so bad. I'm not gonna <laughs> smell it. like when you have such a cool oh, outfit that you don't want to take the clothes off but like this is a nude shoe so sadly as so when you can tell like women are yeah. doing the uh shooting because we're like oh the clothes have to come off <laughs> but i like to my <laughs> we like that too
so that is a wrap. That was so much fun. Um, I really love the fact that we shot you, what did we determine it was five cameras that I shot you with today? No, but we weren't even counting the cameras on the phones. Right, so like six, six or eight. Yeah, six so eight. it was like a true like camera gangbang today. She popped my cherry a lot. I popped my grapes. <laughs> um, what was your favorite look? This one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. It's just well, like... actually, you know, I think they're both equal because I like squeezing those grapes a lot. Yeah. And it was like a very cool moment. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, the shooting with that cool camera. What is that called? Oh, the 8x10 camera. Yeah, yeah. That was like, not medieval, but it was... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, let's wait, make sure that the film comes out before we get excited, but I think I did it right this time. So, And toes, and legs. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining us. Leah, where can they find you online? You can find me, um, moreleahplease.com, and my Twitter and Instagram are loveleahgotti. Fantastic. And, of course, if you guys are watching this, you're probably on my YouTube channel. Um, and if you're not, you're a member of my Patreon, but if you're not a member of my Patreon, you should go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered because that is where I post the not safe for work version of this behind the scenes, plus like all the pictures and stuff from today and obviously have my podcast stuff too, so. And you're doing your podcasts. Yes, yes. Well, we are doing a podcast on Friday too, so, but this will come out after the podcast because it's so, going to take a while. if you haven't heard it, listen to it now. Yeah. Go listen to it because we're already telling you that it was great, even though it's in four. Manifesting. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.